10th, mm -hmm. episode 13. 13. This is take 500. <laughs> <laughs> we had the giggle fits. Oh, and now, oh my goodness. <laughs> Family group text, so both our phones are going off. Oh, okay. Anyways, this is the Feather Stitches podcast. We are a knitting, sometimes quilting, not very often. Sometimes sewing. I want, I've been itching to quilt though more lately. Yeah. And inside number 23, Katie, she's expecting. I was watching oh, her know. That's so newest exciting. episode. I'm so excited for her. And she was showing that baby quilt. And I have made so many baby quilts. I know. So maybe I should just do like a simple patchwork baby quilt. Yeah. Just to kind of get. Do a whole like start to finish simple project. Yeah. Just to kind yeah. of get it, you know, the ball rolling again. And yeah. yeah. I'm really wanting to make another quilt. So she was talking about making one now for her bed. And I was like, I have. So many works in project, progress for quilts that I should just get going on that. But. Nice. I have a bed in my sewing room downstairs right now because we bought a new bed for my son Ooh. for his room. So we pulled the old bed out and now it's sitting... Walking everything? In the middle of my sewing room downstairs. So it's a little bit yeah, in the way. So I did a little bit of sewing this week, but I'm going to share that next podcast because I... I made something for a special somebody. Hi, Allie. So <laughs> it's on her way to her right now. So uh, that was really fun to dust off the sewing machine and yeah, no kidding. Hey, make I have all this yarn all over my cutting tables. <laughs> make room for the cutting mats and the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. It was yes. fun doing that too. So yeah, yeah. Anyways, I don't have a lot to show. No, I've been extremely monogamous in my knitting. She's yes. been going crazy with the exploration station. So it's been a fun cal. It's been really fun watching the hashtag yeah. knitting across the prairies. Across the prairies Sorry. cal. Across the prairies cal. Maybe we can put it there. Yeah. I'm quilt crazy on Instagram. I'm at Millie Me. And we have a Ravelry group. Have you been able to start a thread for... No, I didn't. I should do that. She's the techie person. I should do that. Yes. We should start a chatter thread maybe and a finished objects thread. Yep. Well, yeah, we could just do them all in one, I think. Finished objects? Should we yeah, just, we, we should, should have do a finished object one to draw We should from. have one separate. Yeah, you're right. Because then people yeah. will be doing the quadruple dipping because we're having a cow with Cozy Up Knits and... Northern Knits Podcast. And Tale of Two Knitters. So... They're all going to have their threads on Ravelry, so you can go ahead and just enter all four, mm -hmm. which I plan on doing. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely stalled. Um, I've done my six wedges of the pattern, which I'll show you in a second. And now I'm here, and Becky's going to show me the brioche, brioche section. The brioche. You'll fly through it. Yeah. And I have done a little you bit, just need but then to I get just going. get kind of, Yeah, if I can just get going. And sometimes I like someone just holding my hand yeah. and helping me through. So. Well, and it's a lot of stitches if you make a mistake. To try have you face. made a mistake that you had to go back? Um, yes. And how'd you do it? Well, the one mistake I noticed, I did not go back because it was a long oh. ways. And the other one, I only had to knit back part of a row. Wow. So, yeah, I was supposed to be purling and I started knitting halfway through the row. <laughs> Oops. We should just show them because we're talking okay. about them. Yeah. So let's okay. just... Let's show mine because I have yeah. the least amount go of ahead. progress going on it, so... All right, I'll show you my colors first. They're all hedgehog fibers. So I have this really cool yellow off-white speckled called oh, Bees yeah. Knees. I don't remember so all the names, but this one, I don't remember. Orange. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like road construction orange. Like, yeah, it's it like, is. Yeah, it it's really, really fun. Is. This is gonna be part of my brioche section. And then the black, which again, I don't know the name of, why am I even saying this? Do I have any of the tags? No. And then the blue. And some purple. This one is called Sorry Not Sorry by Hedgehog Fibers. That I know because it's the last one I just purchased. This one's graphite. Oh, graphite. So yeah, these colors. So bright. Anyways, so here's my progress. So far, all six wedges. So, because nice. where I added the purple is where the orange would normally go. Right. Yeah. So, I just, I think that purple is definitely a good pop. 
pop of extra oh, color yeah. in it. Oh, yeah. It's fantastic. And you'll yeah. have, which, this is your color B, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do this for my brioche. I want this orange to show. Yeah. So it'll be your front color on your brioche. So it's going to be in your next. With, the bl with this blue. Yeah. So in your next section, it'll be the front color of your brioche. Perfect. So it'll really stand out. So that's great because then this ad just adds more. Yeah, More I think color. you don't have to stick to the four colors. And I would, no. I had messaged um, Dina. Yeah. Or, I always want to call her Deanne. Then I'm, then nope. I second guess. Okay, Dina. Dina. So I messaged her on her last podcast, under the, in the comments. Add another color because she's not happy with her colors. I said uh, just throw another color in because you don't yeah. have to just stick to four colors. Like throw another color that you think would work well. Yeah, because you're changing them constantly. Like you're, yeah. you're always breaking it off and adding a new color and. And the so next section is slip stitches. And so I think you use D and... Your brioche is... Um, yeah, it would be the orange and blue. Your brioche is B and C. Okay. And then the slip stitches is D and C. So, that's it. so I'm going to do... So instead of the blue... Or not slip... Yeah, it is slip stitches. Sorry. I'm going to... That's okay. <laughs> I'm going to do this color with this one. Oh, fun yeah yeah and then i think you stripe it afterwards right yeah and instead of even just doing two stripes you could stripe multiple colors sort of oh really yeah she's you could done. she's almost done you could <laughs> in the striping because anything goes needless to say that's what i'm trying to say is anything goes oh absolutely this could be a completely scrappy yeah shawl like the whole thing you could be changing your colors throughout the entire thing i'm not gonna have enough of this purple when I do that slip stitch section but I do have another polka dot creek colorway that I used in my starting point shawl by Hohi Locatelli um that's quite similar to this so I'm just gonna use as much of this as I can oh perfect add in the next color I was gonna say I have a color similar to that too in my scrap bin <laughs> yeah dumpster diving now <laughs> <laughs> so scrap bin, I'm gonna, not garbage bin. yeah because you can just use your scraps like just yeah. Who cares if it's not going to be the exact same on the slip stitch because it's oh, going to be all blended in anyways, right? Yeah. So just have fun with it. That's what Stephen West would do, right? He's oh, totally. He's like all about different textures, different weights oh, yeah. and yardage. And yeah. So that's that. I have to put my progress keeper on. I keep forgetting. <laughs> we got these bunny and two progress keepers at the Edmonton Fiber Frolic. Because you have one. Jocelyn has one. I have one. And then... um. Jamie from Cozy Up is also... I don't think she has this exact same kind. No, hers is a rainbow unicorn, isn't it? Oh, maybe. It's rainbow something. It is rainbow, but yeah. It's super So everyone cute. get a rainbow progress keeper to add to your exploration station. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> but it's been really fun. It I'm is. loving it. Oh, it's super addicting. Yeah. So these are my colors. These are all um, ginger snap, except for the black. And I have no idea where I got it from. It was just in my... Been, yeah, these are all ginger snaps. So this is Abigail, this is Tiffany, and this is Merlot. So yeah, those so are my pretty. colors. And here's my show. Whoa. You've already finished your slip stitch section. I finished the slip stitch yesterday and started the stripes. Yeah. So yeah, this is my progress keeper. See, so, yeah, I'm using oh. mine. Oh, I'm so in love with this pattern. Like just... When I looked at the pattern oh, when I first so got it, I was like, oh, I just don't know. <laughs> Not sure it's my thing, but oh my goodness, am I having a blast knitting this. Like, oh, this is so squishy. The brioche yeah. isn't it incredible? But even this slip stitch has a nice texture too, but the brioche, holy. Yeah, dino. like the brioche, just that's what I meant when I was talking, telling you earlier. Like, look at the stretch, the give in that. Like, it just. It must block out huge because it's a big shawl. It is. And you don't do a ton of increases during this section. Oh, really? No. Like when you're brioching, you only increase every few rows, but. That is just stunning. I just, I absolutely love oh. this pattern. Like he is constantly changing things and stretching you and you just get into a rhythm in a section and then you're done. Like, wow. this was really fun. I love how these two colors play together. Isn't it the Abigail great? with that blue. Like all those pops of pink in there, and then the baby blue or Tiffany blue, I guess it is. Oh. But like, isn't it just like I just oh. love it. It's so fun. Are you in your last section now? I'm in the stripes. So I did the first. Oh right, stripes. It's and then a you'll four. Do it's a four row repeat, but it's called all the knitting. 
This is and so picture. it's just. So you're Becky's right here now. Yeah, you're getting close. I am. Yeah, one more section and then the big chevron. I kept telling Becky because she's like, "Why aren't you working on your exploration station?" And I said, "We have until the end of September, and I, I need just you to can't teach me the brioche. put it down. I am just seriously oh. addicted, and I've been watching Friends on Netflix." Just because oh, I need fun. like something to watch, fun. but you have to pay attention a little bit more on this one. Yeah, learning new things, and so I'm like, I need something that I don't really need to watch, but yeah, because you've watched Friends already a million times. I've but seen you them just all. Can pick yeah. up, yeah. So it's been fun because I've been laughing hysterically at the show because it's so funny. Isn't Friends a great summertime show to watch it's too? So yeah. fun, like it's just it's so humorous and it's a good idea. I should yeah, watch light it. and fluffy and anyway. So, this pattern is amazing. But see what I mean? Like, you can just, you can throw whatever color you want in anywhere. Exactly. And use it up. Like you don't have to stick to the, just the four colors. Every section, you could pick two different, like, two new colors and throw them in. You totally could. You totally could. Yeah. And actually, as a general rule, like, I think really two of the colors in the shawl pattern, you only need 50 grams of yarn. So, I'm going to have lots of this left over. So if you just have 50 grams left in your stash of a couple different colors, you will need for your color D, but again, if you just kept mixing up your colors, you will yeah. need a full skein of your, the solid stripe that goes through. And then if you do mm -hmm. the chevrons with that color. Yeah. I'm already tossing around the idea of not doing this for my chevrons. I'm going to see how it goes at the end. Yeah. And then if I have lots of this left over, which I may not, I probably will. I just like how it frames it. Like it having this dark row. In between yeah. each one, it just it highlights it so well, and I think just having that dark frame on the bottom, yeah, will just really finish it off. Yeah, so I'm. I think I'm gonna stick with it because I debated for a little bit too because this was not a full skein. This was in my scrap uh, bin. I used this in my um, Genesis wrap. Oh, okay. And so I bought a full skein, but it was just, it was just the little bits in between to separate the colors. So, and it's black, so if you run out... It is, but I have some of this, the graphite left from this oh, one. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because that's in here. Yeah. So, it's a little bit more tonal, but... We should show the shawl you're wearing. I know you showed it last week, but what are you wearing? I did. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Surge shawl oh, so from Northbound Knitting. Lisa Much. I love this. It's so pretty. It's such a simple... I tried to go home with this last time, but... She did. Just totally suited my outfit. I love this. Yeah. It's so warm, man. You take them off and you're like, whew, put that it's back It's really on. rainy today, though, so it's a nice day to wear. It is. We had to put the lights on because it's so dark in here. And yeah. And it's like 1030 in the morning. The sun should be blazing in here. It should be like... It should be. Super hot, but it's... But yesterday was really hot, so it's kind of nice to have... I hate saying it because I hate cool days. Like, I love the sun, but... It's nice to have a bit of a break because we've yeah. had a real heat wave the last little while. So. Yeah, so it is nice. I'm wearing the Reverb Shawl. I honestly can't remember this? who it's by. I want to say Sweet Georgia Yarns has this pattern on their website. And it's it's meant to use mini skeins. So like the little 20 gram skeins and then you oh, just perfect. mesh them all together. But I wear this shawl a ton. The and all this yarn beautiful. is by Flock Fiber, who we love. We do love. Yeah, it's all Flock Fiber yarn. I love it. And then I ran out of yarn for my binding. So again, anything goes. Oh, yeah, this is your scrappy binding. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to just matchy-matchy. So I have purple in here. This purple isn't even in my shawl, but... That trick we learned from quilting. Because exactly. we do that all the time in our quilts. We just grab fabric and throw it together for our Yeah, binding. run out of binding fabric. That's okay. Just yeah. add another strip of a different color and yeah, totally. adds personality. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that's our exploration, Charles. That's We're having really, a lot of fun. That's really all I've been knitting on. But you did do some knitting prior to July 1st on the cast on day of your other shawl. Yes, so I did. Yeah. So I've also so once I stopped my six wedges, I put it in timeout so I could see Becky. Until today. She's doing it today. Yeah. But we haven't seen each other very much. No, not since we podcasted last. Well, we went to the Canada Day parade together. Oh, well, that's true. And that was it. But neither of us knit because no. I left mine in the car. And I left mine in the car too. Okay, so I am working on the washed out shawl by Hohi Locatelli. So pretty. I think you had a little bit to show last time. I right? did. Yeah. yeah. So washed out by Hohi Locatelli. 
This is growing like a weed, I bet. So I'm using Colors by Yarn Ink. This is Nava. This is Stone. And this I don't remember. This is all I have left of the Color One section. Wow. So Jocelyn, is she's gonna make this shawl as well, and her first color is gonna be this. So I said to Jocelyn, if you run out, cause. Yeah, no kidding. Close, hey? Yeah. I wish I could remember the name of this, but it's a beautiful mustard color. Well, no, golden color. Anyway, so when I was showed it last, I was at this Progress Keeper here. Progress Keeper. Oh, yeah, from you just Curry started your stripes. Yeah, I, yeah, so I had gotten that. Like, look how big this is. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, we can. It doesn't all fit. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. So now I'm adding Still. in the second color. It's huge, hey? It is huge. And I just, yeah. like, now I'm just starting on color two. So then I, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be huge. Well, you think about it. This is like a one skein shawl right here. I know. That's right? what I was thinking. And I love the big shawls. And it has this oh, awesome really lace work. Stunning. I love. Here's my bunny and toot progress keeper. A little sushi because I have sushi on my bunny and toot bag. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> my little miss was pretending to like pick the things off of there and eat them Aww. last time. She was like, ooh. <laughs> She yeah. loves it. She thinks it's so cute. It's such a cheerful bag. It is. Love it. I love it. Anyways, so yeah, this is just growing. I've been having so much fun knitting it. But like, oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be huge. That'll be amazing for the fall because it's yeah. still, it's light. Yeah. But it's going to be big so you can have, like it won't be, it won't be heavy, but it'll be warm. So it'll be perfect for the fall. It'll look good with like. Gray t-shirts, black t-shirts. It'll go with so many things. It really Pink. will. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to get mine cast on. Yeah, because you have yarn for it too. I do, yeah. I highly recommend See, it. See, that's why I got to get these ones done because I have more to do. So. I'm ADD. I bounce back and forth. <laughs> well, I was a little I was a little worried because sometimes I start to get bored yeah. in the, when I get to the end. And it's because I'm up to over, I'm almost at 400 stitches now. And it gets to 500 stitches, I believe. Yes. For 475, 500 stitches. It's a lot. Yeah. So I'm already up in over the, well over 300, close to 400. So <laughs> when you're doing like just straight knit and it's that many stitches, I will get bored. So I'm going to need something to cast on that's little that I can. Just bounce back and forth in between. Because yeah. yeah exactly. You have to the end of September. Yeah. So we can have fun knitting other things. Yeah. It's always fun to show a couple projects too. The podcast makes me kind of be like, okay. I need more, more to show. Project. I know. But I just have the two. Yeah. So, and then I still haven't finished my brioche cowl. So maybe once I get going on the exploration brioche. Once you get into the rhythm of it, it's not, it's not hard. Yeah. It's, um, you do have to pay attention for sure. Cause you got to make sure your strands are going in the right, <laughs> with the right stitch with all the yarn overs and whatever make sure they're in the right spot but if you can get into the right rhythm then it's it it's definitely along. worth it because it's so squishy. oh it's beautiful like just the feel of that texture is just amazing we were looking at um <clears throat> other projects before we started podcasting today because i had asked becky if she had seen the newest stephen west where is it now his new pattern is amazing it's beautiful yeah, I'm definitely going to have to look closer at his. I always thought, like, looking at his stuff, it's just not me. I'm not the bright, crazy... Can you see that? But oh, his that. patterns are... There's tons of brioche in here. Oh, What's it you... called? I wish you could see it better. Um, Stripified. But what a great Stripified. way to use your stash. Oh, too bad you can't see it very well. Anyways, Stephen <clears throat> West, you all know how to find him. It's a huge shawl. It's beautiful. Yeah, like, it's fun knitting some Stephen West because you learn your like you learn new things. You you're do. challenging yourself, yeah. and you're just playing around with color. But and he has tutorials for all of them, like all the way yeah. through the exploration yeah. station. Like he has little links to his videos and shows you how to do it. And and I did look at the brioche section of the shawl, but he knits continental, right? When it's your when it's your left hand you're throwing with. Oh, I don't know. I didn't and I throw with my my right. Oh, you didn't. You're that good. <laughs> I the video. Well, I, I started. <laughs> I'd already done brioche on my other one. I'd started that's it. That's true. That's so true. I was like, I was good like, well, you. let me just try it and see if I need. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. 
<clears throat> they are very handy. If you need some tutorial videos, yeah, get on his Stephen West page. He's, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I just couldn't figure out, like, I don't know. I just got confused. So I thought, you know what? When you have a Becky in your life, <laughs> she can show you. You don't, have, you don't have to try. She can show you. <laughs> Takes the thinking out of everything. Yes. You'll get it. I love friends like that. So what's your okay. next? Yeah, you were working on the other one. Yes, which so I can't I wait to start on for. I showed you guys this one, the first part of it. This is the Slice of Light by Suzanne Summer. That's not a fantastic picture. My almost color thing. Show that one. That's better. It's huge. It is really huge. So the top, this section is mohair and fingering weight, and then the bottom is one color and then two color brioche. So I have, I was part way through, um, it's really hard to show because my cable's really short, but I was part way through this, um, the gold, golden yellow part here. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. And then it, it bends, right? So this is going to be your yeah, top up here. So now, yeah. So now this is where the triangle, so you pick up all these stitches along here. So I just started doing the one color brioche. And that's with Vivid Yarns. I don't remember the colorway. I know I have it though. Oh, it's in. No, it's not. It was in there. Yeah, it's Vivid Yarn, and this is her Snowy Violet. We love Vivid Yarn too. Oh, me too. Mm. Oh my goodness. So, wow. yeah. So this is gonna block out like. Cause I was it, trying to figure out how it gets to be so big, but it just must. Block it just out. grows like crazy, like. This just there's so much give in this with the with the fingering and the mohair together it just it's just gonna so cool. block out wide so anyway so this is her pattern and it's um, the cow that she's doing is so soon knits against cancer and so the money from the part of the money from the pattern purchase goes towards supporting ovarian cancer research so yeah so I had to jump on this bandwagon because my mom passed away from ovarian cancer two years ago. So I was like, I am all over that. So yeah, it was an easy decision made there, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And it's a beautiful pattern. Like, I really, really enjoyed knitting it. And I hadn't knit anything with mohair yet, so that was another new thing for yeah. me to try. So I was really enjoying that, except for I would get little hairs up my nose all the time, or I would be covered in <laughs> hair. I was yeah. like... I purposefully have a dog that doesn't shed so that I'm not covered in hair. But no one in my house is allergic to it, which is good. Because oh, I was a little yeah, unsure. There's lots of allergies house. in my house. So I was a little unsure how that would go. But um, it's been good. So, yeah. And that's that's it. I cool. knit on that up until July 1st. And then I picked up my exploration station. And that's all I've done. Nice. Yeah. Do you have any acquisitions? Nope. Good girl. I know. Except, oh wait, you can show yours okay, and I'll show so you what I want. <laughs> I got happy mail in the mail from Allie. Yeah. So she has a podcast, Miss Allie Makes. She's from Australia. We've just hit it off. I love her so much. Anywho, so I go to the mailbox one day and there's this parcel in it and it blew my socks off. So. Allie's the best. Oh. It came with some tea, but I've been drinking the tea, so I didn't bring it. But it's the Australian afternoon tea. She gave me some fabric. So adorable. Which I love. So, so cute. Knitting sheep. Oh. And then yarn. Okay. So she sent me this beautiful skein from Ren and Ollie. And it's 80-20, I think. 85-85 merino, 15 nylon. Ooh. I just love it. <clears throat> That's so pretty. So oh, the purple. Pretty. I know. Wow. That's beautiful. Allie. Ugh. Anyways, I just like flabbergasted. Okay, check this out. <laughs> what? Like what? Like this? Oh my goodness. I, this just makes me happy in every way possible. Look at that. Speckles Gone Mad, oh, yeah. it's called. Isn't Speckles that perfect? Gone mad. Love it. Oh, from Three Mums Yarn, hand dyed in Canberra, which is in Australia. I, I just, this it's just makes stunning. me so happy. And, oh, yeah, this is going to be a shawl. I'm thinking of doing that one that you're doing with yeah. this. 
And then I've always wanted pineapple yarn in highlighter yellow. Oh, look at that. You know me and my colors, right? Like, it's totally even just blowing out here. Like, it's even brighter. Yeah. And this little honeybee. Like, so sweet. Allie. She blessed the socks off of me. It was such happy mail. Like, this is, again, once again, sunshine in the mailbox from Allie. Like... I can feel the Australian heat on me. <laughs> when I, this. I just love it so, so much. Oh, it's beautiful. So I'm going to buy some mohair, and I think I want to yeah. do some of this. So, like, it's pretty amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, I love it. So I sent her a little parcel, a little thank you present. It, I'm like, Allie, nothing can beat this. I'm sorry, but your parcel's coming, and it was made with love. Yeah, I love it. So that's my acquisition. Nice. Yeah. This is my temptation. What's that? This is the obsession kit. It's for the Fading Ooh. Point Cal from Vivid Yarns. Ooh. But like those colors. Gray and purple. <gasps> oh, yeah, those are totally your colors. Isn't it stunning? Wow. Yeah, very addicting. Her yarn is. Yeah. It's a pleasure to knit with. It's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, we love her too. Very addicting. So we'll see. I'm going to have to save my pennies for that one. So you haven't read any books, you said, right? No, because I finished, I finished the ones that I was reading. And the new one that I bought that I was super excited about that I was telling you about last time, I was reading it and I was like, man, like I'm getting a little lost. Like I thought I knew <laughs> where I was. And then I started looking online to see if I could find like a little like synopsis of the first two books like see if I could you know like Cliff's Notes kind of thing like catch myself up I realized there's this is the fourth book that I just bought <laughs> and there's another one in between that I need to read so get back to the library sign renew your library card yes so that's my next field trip plan oh it's pouring rain is it oh I left my windows open at home oh dear my son's outside somewhere oh well he'll be fine <laughs> It adds to the fun. Some oh, yeah. rains. I yeah. played outside in the rain all the time. He'll live. <laughs> yeah. So I listened to this audiobook this week, <clears throat> Stranger in the House by Sherry LaPena. So good. So one of the characters in the book is a knitter. Ooh, cool. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't talk a lot about knitting, but she is a knitter, and it just... There you go. Yeah. It's very good. So I highly recommend that one. And then I'm now listening to... Ooh, Wow, let's see here. <laughs> oh dear. Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. I'm sorry, it's such bad. <laughs> <laughs> Reflecting like, back. If you cross your eyes and shake them a little bit, you'll be able to see it, trust totally. me. Yeah. <laughs> so Before yeah. We Were Yours, it's really good. It's based in Tennessee. And sometimes in the summer, I love listening to audiobooks or reading books where it's located in hot places. Isn't that weird? <laughs> that is weird. I do. <laughs> it's like I don't want to read them in the winter time because I'm just going to be jealous and hateful. But you can like feel the heat. I know I'm weird that way, but I just love it. I know. So you love me. It's true. Like Tennessee. We went to Tennessee together. We did. We felt that heat that We did. So we it just really takes did. you back. It just takes you back. Yeah. So those are my two books. I've been watching tons of podcasts. Mm-hmm. There was a new Hey Sister podcast. Oh, yeah. I haven't watched that one yet. Of course. Always a cozy up. I came home last Friday. I think it was uploaded. I was working. I worked last Friday. Was, no, it was Saturday. Worked on Saturday. Came home. Oh, there's a new podcast from Cozy Up. So sat and just watched it. Yeah. In my scrubs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was nice. like, hey. Um, have you watched any new ones? Like, have you watched, have you started any new ones? You're no. just too busy with friends. I am. Yeah. She just loves her friends. She loves her Joey. Joy, your favorite? No. Who's your favorite? Chandler. Chandler. Okay, at least you didn't say Ross. But we like Ross, Ross too. Ross. But no. no. No, I just Chandler's funny. Yeah. I've been watching um, Girl Boss. No, Good Girls on Netflix. Oh yes, I've been meaning to start that one. It's good. Yeah. It's really funny. I have, my kids are old enough now that you when, can't watch this with your kids around in the summer. They stay up as late as I do. Like, I kick them yeah. off to bed when I go to bed. Me too. So, unless I, like, sit in the corner on my iPad with headphones on, yeah. 
to watch some of these things. I can't watch it with them. Because <laughs> so, you don't have a TV in your room, right? No, we only have, yeah. we just have one TV in the house. And so we all share. So my daughter and I have a show that we've been watching. It's a little bit. Which one? It's called The Blacklist. Oh, yeah. I've, it's I've a little that. bit violent. So some of you would probably be like, oh my gosh, you let your child watch that. <laughs> <laughs> There's moments where I'm like, I should not be letting my child watch this. Well, Katie just binge watched all the seasons <clears throat> of Grey's Anatomy. I'm like, totally not the most appropriate show for a 13 year old I know but there's so many worse ones too like I know well even sitting there watching friends and I'm like oh Bran should watch this no Bran can't yeah. watch this <laughs> I know <laughs> it's tough yeah it's really hard to oh. there's yeah. a show that we watched and this is one I mean I don't know if it'd be interesting to your kids but I think Tyler would probably actually like watching it and oh, maybe yeah? even Brienne um it is called it's Okay, let's see. Churchill's Secret Agents, The New Recruits. Oh, cool. Again, I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, so it's kind of like a survivor where, but it's based on real history. So, because there was SOE agents back in the war and they helped liberate France and they were heavily there during D-Day. Anyway, so they imitate the training for SOE agents with people from today. Like, they ship them off to this place and they imitate the SOE training. Hmm. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, but we started watching it and it was so good. And so then I told my mom about it while well, she binge watched it, like, all in pretty much one sitting. <laughs> I like, Mom, if you start watching it, she goes, um, done. <laughs> so, it's good. Like, oh, it's just shows funny. some good history, but I think it's one that you can watch with your kids because they have to be taught how to be spies and they have to do endurance training cool it's, it's really good highly hmm. recommend it that's cool yeah so and then yeah. yeah just i've been watching some more legacy nets i used to not watch their podcast that much but lately i've been watching legacy nets and then they talked cool. about this podcast called oh jeez, armchair export armchair expert it's nice. just an audio podcast so i've been starting not to yeah cool that's it what are you doing this weekend this weekend not much, I don't think. Tyler comes home. My one son is in Ottawa all week, so he flew out to spend the week with his uncle. So they're out on a lake somewhere camping right now. They go out in their canoe and... So, yeah, so he comes home on Saturday, I think. Nice. Oh, he'll be having so much fun. Or Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, so that's exciting for him. So, yeah, it's just... Right now, it's kind of a quiet... Things are actually... Cody plays his last soccer game for the season tonight, oh, and good. things are really winding down. I'm I'm almost feeling like, okay, summer holidays are starting. You need that. Your life has been crazy. <laughs> yeah, the month of June is insane. Yeah. So we'll That's get into a bit more of a routine of actually like leaving the house and doing things. and mm -hmm. Yeah. That's nice. So. Grace and Weston are at camp this week at Circle Square Ranch, so mm. the house feels quiet that way too. Yeah, I bet. Normally, I go to the cabin, but... It just hasn't worked out this week to go to the cabin. My dog's still recovering from her surgery. She thinks she's totally healthy. <laughs> Bailey. But trying to keep her from running up and downstairs or jumping on the furniture. So Gotta love her. But, so it's just kind of a pain to haul her to the cabin. So, right. yeah, but maybe we'll hit the Stampede because Calgary Stampede, the greatest outdoor show on earth, is now mm -hmm. in Calgary at the moment. So I might take Katie to the Stampede Grounds maybe Thursday. I'd mm -hmm. like to, but... Let's see if I can get the motivation to do it. I did think about taking my kids down. Let's see if I can get a babysitter for the younger ones and go for a bit. I've never really... I haven't taken them since they were little. Me, yeah, me neither. I just... I haven't I, been for years. The crowds are insane. Yeah. People and from all over the world come to this show. Everything is so expensive. But yeah. you listen to them talk about all the different food on the radio, like yeah. deep fried, anything you can imagine. Anything. Yesterday, I was really confused, but they were talking about a... Bacon wrapped, deep fried Reese peanut butter cup. <laughs> I think they have deep fried watermelon too. Like I can't imagine. <laughs> okay. I, I have I no desire but... to eat anything like that. Yeah, I know. But there, are, everybody's always talking about how good this stuff is, and I'm just like, no. Yeah. That's awful. I just couldn't. Food so... trucks come and they just they have like this this competition of who can make the most outrageous. They've had chocolate dipped, um, some sort of spider like. 
Ugh. scorpions or something like it was Ugh, weird like, they had some spider awful. one year and no so they have the rodeo they had the grandstand show they have chuck wagons chuck wagons the horses like the barns you can see animals there's an amusement park it's huge it's huge and it goes huge on for event. 10 days yeah so yeah we may go i don't know but we'll see yeah i'm glad we could get together on podcasts that was good good now i'm gonna start my brioche yeah and actually knit usually it's like okay let's get a podcast yeah. in get it up I should have brought my computer. Because so I got to go and do some other it. things. Ooh, we'll we'll use mine. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes. Mine work, too. <laughs> that's true. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Well, have a it's good a week. short and sweet. Happy knitting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like these shorter podcasts, honestly, too. The two-hour ones, I just find are too long to watch. I still watch them sometimes. I have to watch them in spurts, because I can't yeah. usually sit that long. So I hope you don't mind yeah. that we're just half hour long, but... Yeah, it's been fun chatting. Yeah. Have a good week. Have a good week. Bye. Bye. Hi. Good morning. It. <laughs> okay, that's right. Morning, everybody. <laughs>